Hello and welcome to our Intrix tutorial series. Today I would like to show you how easy it is to integrate data using the Intrix Business Adapter for DG Hype Archive. With this adapter, you can not only store your files directly in the DG Hype Archive archiving system, but also present and edit the stamp data with a user-friendly web interface from Intrix. In order to demonstrate how quickly the adapter can be configured, I'm now going to establish a connection to the DG Hype Archive demo system. In the Intrex module Integration, I choose the DG Hype Archive Business Adapter and create a new data source. I enter the name of the connection here. I now enter the URLs for the DG Connect web services. So that I can establish a secure SSL connection, I've already saved the corresponding certificate in the Intrex Certificate Store. I choose BASIC as the authentication method. In this case, I use a domain user who is located in the same domain as the DG Hype Archive server. Now I just need to enter the DG Hype Archive user and password, and then choose the setting Internal User. I click on Continue. I can already test my connection here as well, and it works. The connection has now been created and can be implemented into any Intrex application. I switch to the application designer. In my application, I open the properties of my data group. Some data fields have already been created here. The system stamp fields department ID, document ID, name and note are the minimum requirements for a successful coupling. I'll use the data fields invoice amount and invoice date for my stamp. Now I'll add the data field for the files. I click on Add Data Field. I enter the title Hype Archive here, select the data type File and click on More. As the data type of the primary key, I select Hype Archive File Handler from the list Alternative Handlers. Then I click on OK. Now I'll take a look at the properties of the data field Hype Archive. In the area under DG Hype Archive Configuration, the connection is already assigned that I configured in the module integration. I then assign the Intrex data fields department ID, document ID, name, and note to the Hype Archive system fields. I select the document type from Hype Archive here. I'll switch to the tab Data Field Mapping. On the left hand side, I can see the DG Hype Archive stamps. The Intrex Data Group's fields are on the right hand side. I now filter by the stamp Invoice. Using the arrow keys, I assign the Intrex Data Field's Invoice Amount and Invoice Date to the appropriate Hype Archive stamp data fields. But with that, I make sure that the data type in DG Hype Archive is compatible with the one from the Intrex data field. I can define which portal user should be used for authentication when accessing the DG web services. If I want the user to be requested to enter his login details for the DG Hype Archive in the browser, then I don't change anything and click on OK. Now I can add the file selection to my page. I define it as a mandatory field and limit the number of uploads to one file. I leave all other settings as they are and click on continue. I select the data field Hype Archive and click on continue. Finish. Now I just need to arrange it and then save it. This is what the whole thing looks like in the browser. I will now file a new document. After successful authentication, I can use the application. The file uploaded here will exclusively be saved in the archiving system from Hype Archive. I now switch to my DG Hype Archive web client. Choose the document type Invoice. Select the stamp Invoice. Enter the date when I filed the document and click on search and my document is there. I open it. I can see the information recorded in Intrix. I add a note to it 
and click on Save. I open the document in my Intrex application. The changes made in the field Note have been taken over here as well. As you can see, the DG Hype Archive Business Adapter brings you another huge step closer to perfectly integrating your data into your portal. With Intrex, all of your applications, even with data from the archiving system DG Hype Archive, can be enabled for mobile access and thus developed very economically. I'll show you how to do this in another tutorial. So long for now, and I hope to see you soon.